Hi everyone, this is Kenny Lee and we're going to talk a little bit about the start of Newton's Laws. But before we get into Newton's Laws, we need to talk about these three terms and their definition. Let's start off with mass. The amount or quantity of matter within an object. Now, we measure mass with kilograms. So the unit is a kilogram. The quantity mass is often confused with that of weight. Weight is the force due to gravity. We'll come back to that a little bit later, but I want to talk about volume next. Volume, again, sometimes these three words get confused, but volume is simply the space an object takes up. And just because something has a lot of volume, doesn't mean it's massive or heavy, it just means it takes up a lot of space. A balloon takes up a lot of space, but it's not very heavy. While a small chunk of lead doesn't take up much space, but it's pretty heavy. But let's get back to talking about weight. The unit for weight. Well, everybody knows the unit of weight in the English system. That's the pound. But in the metric system, we invented a new unit called a Newton named after Sir Isaac Newton, and a Newton is equal to one kilogram meter per second squared. Well, we got kind of tired of writing kilogram meter per second squared, so we came up with a new unit called a Newton, so we came up with an abbreviation for an abbreviation. Uh, we're just kind of lazy like that. But one kilogram weighs 9.8 newtons. Now, a lot of people like to give their mass in kilograms. I'm about 220 pounds. So, if we were to give my weight of 220 pounds in kilograms, I would just be 100 kilograms. That sounds much thinner. Actually, a little bit too thin. It's not proper to say weight in kilograms. It should be mass in kilograms. You mass so many kilograms. But I would weigh 980 newtons. That's huge. If you want to know what a newton feels like, go to McDonald's, get a quarter pounder with cheese, and hold it in your hand. That weighs roughly one newton. Then maybe order something else. But anyway, if my mass was 100 kilograms and I weighed 980 newtons, you could put me on one side of a scale and 980 quarter pounds with cheese on the other and we should balance, theoretically. But uh, now you know you're worth in quarter pounders of cheese. But let's talk about what we can do with this. All right, so I've got an awesome diet program. I can go from 220 pounds to something less than 40 pounds in about four days. It's expensive, but you can do it. It's really simple. Go to the moon. On the moon, I would weigh something less than 40 pounds because the moon's gravity is one-sixth that of the Earth. Now, I don't like dots because the first three letters in dot spells die, and I don't want to do that. But it does bring up a question. What if we transported some things from the Earth up to the moon? And so, let's think about this. How about me? If I was to take that dot program and go from the Earth up to the moon, what would change about me? Well, the gravity is less on the moon, so I would weigh less. But would that affect anything else? 
Well, not really. The amount of stuff that makes me up is the same in both locations. So my mass should stay the same. My volume should stay the same. I don't get bigger or smaller going up to the moon. But my weight would change because the moon's gravity is less. So if I had a one kilogram chunk of gold on the earth and we moved it to the moon, what would you notice about its mass? Well, if it's one kilogram on the earth, it's also going to be one kilogram on the moon. Gravity doesn't affect mass. It's just how much stuff is there. But what if instead, let's say I've got a pile of gold that's 10 newtons here on the earth and a pile of gold that's 10 newtons on the moon. Two separate piles. In which pile would I have the most gold? Well, since we're talking about weight, weight will change depending on what gravity you have. The Earth's gravity is much stronger than the moon's. Because remember, my 220 pound self on the Earth would weigh somewhere only around 40 pounds on the moon. So for me to get up to my same weight on the Earth, there has to be a total of six of me. Well, if these two have the same weight, 10 newtons, to get the 10 newtons on the moon, I have to have much more material than I would have on the Earth. So if you have two things that have the same weight in both locations, the one on the moon has to have more mass to get to that weight. If you've ever done any rock climbing, where they take those little C clamps, those little carabiners and stuff, and clamp them on. If you ever look at a, a real one, it has something like 10KN. It says something like this on its side. 10KN. That stands for 10,000 Newtons. That's how much weight in Newtons that that can hold before it might break and you plummet to your death. But that unit Newtons, that's our metric unit for weight. So it doesn't matter if it's a push or a pull, where it's weight, the table holding us up, if it's any force that's on something, it's going to be measured in Newtons. Thank you, and check in with me again for another video, and have fun with physics.